Right, hello. How you doing? Right, this is going to be the quickest repair video ever. I'm going to show you how to change your hard drive in your BT UView boxes. Now this is the 2100 model, there's a 4000 UHD model as well, but they're basically identical, apart from a very few minor uh, things. If you've had one of these for a few years, chances are the mechanical hard drive is gone. Um, let's have a little look. Where did I put the hard drive? One second. Oh yeah, stupid ass. I <laughs> put it back inside to show you how to take it out. These are really easy. So if the box is not starting up or it's stuck at the startup screen or it's making hor horrible clicking hard drive noises, add clicky hard drive noises for effect, um, you, uh, all you're going to need to do is remove like 10 screws, get a replacement hard drive. They have a 500. They generally support up to a terabyte. Uh, they use a 2.5 inch um, video hard drive, much like you get in a laptop. Um, really easy. So you're going to have to void the sticker here. Have to get rid of that, but that's not a problem. Um, and you're going to have to remove four screws off the bottom here, here, and here. I'll pretend I'm doing it. Blah blah blah. I've actually already done it. And um, what you're also going to have to do is. Uh, because we're changing the hard drive, all the screws out the back need to come out. And there's one, two, three, just three on the back. Once you've done that, you can put a podger in the side and the top should slide off. Let's have a little look. Hold. For... Okay, so to get this apart, what you're going to have to do is just pinch under the front of the device. And that gets the top section off. Run your fingers around the edge. And there we go. We've got a bottom plate that's off and we can see the metal underneath. If we just push that out, there we go, we get the electronics. Now you're going to have to disconnect this cable, it's the one and only cable you need to disconnect. And there we are, that's the top bit with the LEDs and remote sensor. Actually, yeah, the remote sensor's there. Uh, it's just for the buttons, that is, that panel. And there's the hard drive. Now, ingeniously, You've now got to take the bottom plate off because they didn't, it's not very well designed. So there's a screw here. I think there's a screw in here normally that connects the bottom plate. Some models there's two and some models there's three. They must have had a slight revision, but we need to get this out. It's just plugged in here, but we can't pull it out because the screws are fixed from these four holes underneath. Again, I've taken the screws out. So normally they would sit in there on little rubber bushes, but they're trapped by the metal plate. So. We need to take all those screws out, take the metal plate out. Um, you have to do this by pulling up and pushing back because it's sort of uh, trapped. There we go. Obviously, I've undone all the screws already. But there we go. So then there'll be four screws on these rubber bushes, blue rubber bushes. Slide that out. And then we go, oh, let's get a new hard drive. Pop that back in. Oh, it's difficult to look at it through the camera. Pop the screws back in on the rub through the rubber bushes. Make sure it's nice and firm. And then we're just going to reverse the process. Slide it into its lower tray so all those plugs and sockets line up. Sit it back on its bottom tray, making sure we get the front at the front. Got to work that one out myself. One second. Yeah, there we go. Bottom on the front. Right, and then we put that plug back in. Whichever way round it goes. Remember these, I've got little trap switches on, so don't yank it out. You need to press the switch. Okay, easy enough. That's all back together. And then it's got little grooves in the back and front that just need to line up. So, see, look, you can see it's not lined up on that one. That looks good. Made a little healthy click there. There we are, that's all clicked. Put all the screws back in. Screws back in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, easy enough. This is the 2100 model. Yeah, 2000. Actually, this is a... So this was a revision because it's 2110. When you plug the box back in, it's not going to like it. If you're lucky, it will pop up with a display on the screen, which I'll flash up on the screen now. and you just select full reset, delete recordings, and it should set the hard drive up again, and away you go. 
If it doesn't, what you need to do is when you power the device on from the back switch, press the on button there and hold down the down button on top. It will then pop up with the maintenance menu option. All you need to do then is follow the, the choices it gives you on the screen. I'll give you a little link to a text instruction that might help you. And that's it. Hopefully, you plug, make sure you plug your internet back in, plug it back in. It should download any updates via the internet once your network's connected and your box should be good to go again. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Home repairs are so simple. And you can pick up the hard drives for less than a tenner nowadays off eBay if you're not worried about buying a new one. I'm not sure if they take SSDs. I can't really see the advantage of it. If it works fine with a mechanical drive, unless you've just got an SSD hanging around that's worth trying. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't forget, you can also do use it or use the same instructions on this model. This is the newer 4K model. There's also a 4K model with the old BT logo and UHD written there. It 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 does the same. It does. It. They are basically the same. I guess this is a probably slight revision. You can see this one I've got in pieces as well. Let the camera focus. Interestingly, the the UH this one only has 500 gig as well. But yeah, T4000 this one. All right, hope you get on well. Put in the comments if you manage to fix your your uh, your own device. It's always good to know. Cheers.